Hey there, this is Jamie the D, and welcome back to the Return of First Person Mode. <sighs> now, there is one improvement to First Person Mode from Wipeout 1 in that collisions no longer throw you all over the place. But once again, the camera is right in the middle of the craft's underside, so that guy didn't fully get to the bottom of the screen before we hit him. Therefore, judging collisions is a little difficult. Now, our first run, we're doing this with an AGS, and as you can see, you can't even judge jumps very well. But, um, there are some nice things. The tilting, however, is a little motion sickness inducing, and gets a lot worse for Rapier. Um, also, despite the fact I miss with Plasma Bolt, aiming is literally the center of the screen. And that's another problem with the camera, that that Kyrex literally came in front of us, but we couldn't see him. So the missile hit him, despite the fact we were aiming at someone else. And because Thunderbomb is ray traced, this actually changes how Thunderbomb acts. It makes Thunderbomb a little less effective because it is literally what you can see, and you can actually see more in first, third person. Also, Electrobolt has a UI in this game, UI element in this game, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're done with the AGS and Talon's Reach. So now let's go on the hard mode, Kyrex and a track we haven't seen yet in the LP Guard Europa. I won't be commenting on the track itself, because I've saved that for commentary with the Mighty Biscuit, but there's still a fair amount to comment on first person wise. Including how claustrophobic it's going to get. Judging turning is slightly easier, but since the collision is something like the outside fifth of the screen, it's kind of hard to judge what would be a wall collision or not. But, um, yeah, claustrophobia. It looks a lot more close, and despite my fuck up in this lap, it's actually a lot easier to judge that chicane in first person. So there are upsides to doing first person, but I still think that one of the guys in our threat, Choco 1980, a fellow Wipeout XL player, is absolutely crazy for racing in first person. You see track features more clearly though, which is fun. And yeah, you can get rid of weapons. I haven't mentioned this in the main LP, and I really should. The, there is actually a get rid of weapons key. I've just... that was a rear fire, which I believe I've mentioned, but whenever you hear that kind of creak or whatever, that means I've gotten rid of a weapon using I believe it's the triangle key. But either way, you can rebind it, so it doesn't matter. Also, notice how the view tilting is a lot more pronounced in this game. This is part of why I feel slightly queasy watching this, and I'm not actually a guy who's susceptible to motion sickness. Um, yeah. 
also the bouncing is just as disorienting. Disorienting? Disorientating? It doesn't matter, it confuzzles you. So. Also, the shield pulses and goes red when you get hit, so um, that doesn't really help. Yeah, look at that. That's that's something like a 70 degree tilt. And that was the... was that an Oricon? That was an Oricon. Firing backwards at us. I may have mentioned it before, I might as well mention it again. You fire backwards by tilting the nose up and hitting fire at the same time. It's not hard. It only happens when you've got a rear lock. And it will actually tell you you've got a rear lock, so it's all good. But here is where we see Autopilot for the first time. And... Man, this is kind of scary. Because... Well, check out this hairpin. You ready? Yeah, okay, shield and gelo, whatever. Yeah, here we go. Oi! Yay! That was an 85 degree tilt and a one flawless 180 inside. The autopilot can do things that you can't. And I'm gonna go get a nice calming cup of tea. I shall see you next time. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care.